Hi everyone, David Mala here, and today I'm going to show you some really cool stuff with this uh, band chart. So we're going to create a custom band chart, and what this is great for is to show one or more anomalies against each other. So in this case, what we're doing is we're showing Honda and Toyota CSI scores from local area car dealerships, and these are very important to them because it, it controls the their the level of the CSI score that they get controls the type of cars they get in, the amount of them they get in, when they get them in, and their profitability. So what we do is we go up here and this is the data right here. So I have uh, month, year, uh, the actual monthly aggregated CSI score for the uh, Honda car dealership, the Toyota car dealership, so that's two local area car dealerships. And then we have a breakdown in here in the yellow. This is the highlight area. This is what's really important is that they want a 95% and 95 to 97.5% and a over 97.5% breakout. So we want to be able to identify when the CSI scores is most importantly are below 95%, when they're in this medium range, and then when they're in the high range. So what we got to do is we got to go and create a pivot chart. First, actually first a pivot table, I'm sorry. And this is our pivot table right here. So I click in here and I right click and I put show the field list this is our actual pivot table field so let's bring this out here so you can see it's a little bit better so what I've done with this data is I remember now I have those three fields and most importantly here also is you cannot go and say 95 percent then 97.5 percent then 100 percent you can't do or whatever your three or more bands are going to be you can't do that and the reason being is if you do that it'll add them up and you would have over like almost 300 percent total which would make this way off it wouldn't add up to 100 percent so what you have to do is take the lowest point and then add the the remainder so the remainder will be 95 percent then you got 2.5 percent to get 97.5 percent then you got another 2.5 percent to get to the rest to get to 100 percent so what we got to do here is we in here we have uh, our we bring in our fields so we're going to bring in month obviously so month is going to be in our rows see it right there month we're going to break down by month and then what we have to do is we have to have our CSI scores these two columns J and K here are our CSI scores and we have it it's a percent but we have it as a decimal here okay 0 0.96 0 0.94 you know 0 0.95 instead of 95 percent then what we have here is our low medium and high so remember we had that right here we bring in the exact same values 95 percent 2.5 percent and 2.5 percent that adds up to 100 percent and by doing that what we do here is we've got this here and you can go and right click on these and you can go and say value field settings their sums okay for these two now let's take a look at this one this is the low what is he he's a sum also so they're all summations of the uh, values in here and so once we've done that then we can right click on this and we're going to create a band chart so what you want to do is let me show you here if I hit change chart type okay see what I've got here I've gone instead of to a line or a bar chart when you go to you know you'll hit insert pivot chart then you select combo and then what we're going to do is we're going to do, see how I have this? I have line with markers for the first two, which is the Honda CSI and Toyota CSI scores. Because we want those to be lines, and the markers are the little dots in between all the lines. Okay. Next, down below, we have three, because we've got three striations, right? We have the low, the medium, and the high that we wanted to break out to. So to have it show correctly, we need, we need a stacked column. Not a stacked column of 100%, of but a stacked column itself. That's what we want for each of these three. Okay? And when you do that and you click OK, you'll end up with this. Now, the colors won't necessarily be the same. Okay? We'll work on that next. So then you'll end up with this. If it doesn't add up to 100%, then you've got your math right here for these. For the breakout of the low, the medium, and the high are incorrect, and they don't add up to 100%. So they have this, these three, or you could have four or five. If you want four or five, you know, columns, that's fine. You just have to make sure they all add up together to 100%. And then on top of your first one has to be from the zero to the beginning point, to, to the first one's end point. So this one would have to be 95%. If I did this one that way, it wouldn't show correctly. 
okay it would put them so that the low would be in between the medium and the high so once you've done that again you need to have line with markers for the first two for the lines that you want to break out by and then you're gonna have stacked columns for the rest so we hit OK and we have this now what we want to do is obviously you want to add in your chart title because it's kind of meaningless not to have a chart title I mean there could be a reason why but that's fine if you want to go and customize and have some custom font in there uh, above it and you want to move this to another piece of your report that's fine um, so once we do that we've got our chart elements then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the color okay and now this is where you can have a base color I don't want the base color so you can pick you know do you want it shaded how do you want it broken out by do you want it you know, like this these are the original colors you're seeing right here on when I move this around they're not the custom colors that I put in um, see how the colors change and you can change maybe you want this maybe you want a different breakout this one's not going to show you the banding as well so you want to have the band in there so now that I've done that what I can do let's get out of this uh, let's see here I don't need that anymore okay so let's click over here let's get rid of the pivot chart fields so we can see this a little better and a little bit easier and what I want to do is I want to go in here and I'm actually going to click on this line and see if I do the fill that gives me the points if I do the outline that changes the actual line for the different points so I can change the colors of these guys very easily I can change the points very easily see how the outline is this color I could change this to uh, I don't know let's change it to that now watch what happens there it is see I changed the color that fast all I have to do is change the outline and what do we have originally we had this one let's go back to that and I can do the same thing with the other line so that changes the two lines automatically will update it here and the points if I don't want the points to be that gray color I can make them the same color as the other one so let's do that there we go that way the points and the line themselves are the same color for the Honda and let's look at the Toyota one let's see what that one does so if I click on this let's say the Toyota could be uh, let's see we I think we have it as a purpley color and we can do this one as a purpley color okay there we go we could make the points different colors we want to make them stand out a little bit more I could go and say okay I don't want that to be so the fill color then could be I don't know let's pick something that stands out bluish see how it's different we could do that if we wanted to if one of those points to stand out more or stand where they you know connect uh, we could do that we don't have to it doesn't matter I'm gonna go back to the other way so let's do this and make oops that's the wrong one sorry let's go back to uh, this guy here and we want that to be that okay you have to click on the actual line that was my mistake I clicked out here so now let's go here and make that purple I think I clicked on purple there we go okay so we have the dots and the lines are purple and the other colors like a, a brownish red or rusty red something like that now see these guys right here these are your bands I can change those colors the same way I can change them with the fill not the outline you don't want to change the outline so if I change the fill here right now it's this color I could change it to any color I want okay and then I can do the same thing with each of these same thing in here it's the fill color for the bands it will give me different colors okay I like this color so that's what I ended up with it's a nice looking color you want to make sure that your lines stand out when you give it so when you give it to your customers that they can, or your requesters uh, for a data analysis project that they can say oh hey that looks cool I can see the highs I can see the lows I can identify that all these months right here July maybe we had some rep some sales reps that we no longer have that were driving down the scores that weren't doing well they didn't care and they drove down our scores and maybe now or they we had them then but now they're gone so maybe though it things will get better we can track things like that that's what these band charts do and then we have got a slicer built up here it's not going to be that useful in this because if I slice it out what's going to do is just going to give me two points for each month so if I want to drill down I could say okay let's look at March that's all I'm going to get is that really helpful probably not so let's remove the filter from that okay and uh, you can add a slicer if you want you know it's very simple insert slicer and you know you, this comes up and you pick what you want to see in the slicer and then it goes over there and then once you're clicked into the slicer you can go and change the slicers colors and stuff like that so 
regardless, let's go back to here. This is what we want to end up with, so that's our chart. We can then right click this and move it if we want to move it to another page of our report. If I've got a report that I want to put on the front page, I can move it. You know, I click on this and I can move it to any page that I want. Right now, I've only got this one page and that's all I have on here. But what I wanted to show you here was a cool way to take data and I showed you how to split it up so that it works correctly here. So you've got to have a pivot chart that brings in your three uh, or more columns by percent for your breakout, right, for the bands. And you also have to bring in your scores. I could have one if I wanted to. I could just have Honda. And I, I would just see this brownish red rusty line. I wouldn't see the other line to compare it to. Um, again, you have to have them broken down here as to what your these are basically goal bands, okay? So we want to have we want to achieve this, but this will identify, you know, lows, mediums, and highs. So obviously these need to be dealt with, those months right there. These months are not as important as those, but they still need to be dealt with, and this is where we've done great. So that's what they want to look at and see. So this is a great way to go and break out your data and show people with bands, you know, here's where we are, here's our benchmarking. This is, you can compare one to another, which we're doing right here. We're comparing the Honda store to the Toyota store, and there's times when the Honda store beats the Toyota store, and then there's also a few times when the Toyota store beats the Honda store and actually pretty badly that month right there maybe that's what happened there is they had uh, they didn't care as much uh, they had uh, uh, they pushed uh, some sales through that maybe shouldn't have been pushed through um, could be anything so but it's something for the management to look at and identify okay how do we get this up here and how do we get this not to happen down here so basically I showed you how to do band charts here. Uh, this is helpful in displaying your information to customers and reports and helping them, them to further understand uh, what they're looking at and what their areas of opportunity are. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and like and uh, so that way you can go see all the videos I have on my channel and you'll be notified of all the new ones I have coming out. So uh, again, this is a helpful technique in data analysis and data science. Again, please subscribe and like, and have a great day.